Hey everyone, how you doing? Jamal here, coming to you for another shared video. For today, we are going to use ha, upside down, Highland Springs Soap Co. Barbershop. One of my all-time favorite barbershops. Just love this. Um, talk about that some more. For the brush, we're going to be using my Mohawk 5341, a vintage Canadian made brush. This is what the PA Starcraft was made off of. Uh, I think it's a 20 or 22 millimeter uh, silver tip in here right now. The lather made up in the Thirsty, ba Thirsty Badger lather bowl called the Mayor. And since it is barbershop week, we'll use the Wet and Butcher for barbers only 7 8 wedge. Let's get this going, everyone. A little water on the face here, so I hope you're all doing well. Hope you've uh, had a good weekend so far. This is Sunday, of course, the 24th. Uh, it's afternoon shave for me. I've been shaving late since Friday, so I made some growth to sh shave off for you guys. <laughs> Let's get this going. Yeah. Oh, as you can see, there will be some blood. Uh, this is a scratch I had of <laughs> playing with my dog, and I cut it open a little bit more than straight razor the other day. And here's the whack. There was a pimple, and I was watching the uh, live train on Lather and Blade while I was shaving, and I kind of forgot about it, and I took it right off. So, probably get reopened. <laughs> so if you don't like blood, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, very soft brush here. Um, oopsies. Super wide splay. Not my favorite type of knot, but I love <clears throat> this handle, this style. Uh, ever since I saw one of these, I think I mentioned to you guys in a previous video, this was a bucket list brush for me. I think I saw Tim the Shaving Tulsan first with one, and I had to figure him out, understand, and then God, I wanted one. So thank you for Neil at Heritage Shaving for partnering with us. So the HSC Barbershop, guys, this is one of my favorite barbershops, if not my favorite. I think this may be the second set, scent, maybe the third tub of stuff that uh, soap that I ever bought from Highland Springs. It is one of the few soaps that I have emptied the tub and replaced. I just really, really enjoy it. I love the scent. It's a powdery, powdery, powdery scent. Wow. Um, maybe a little bit of woodsiness behind it. And a touch, touch of like a fresh pop, like a citrus pop. Very, very little. Some may call it old man-ish. I don't know. To me, it's awesome. Uh, and I could wear this every day if I have to, really. I quite like it. Quite, quite like it. The base is phenomenal. This is their vegan base or vegetile base. I'm not sure it's completely vegan. Put the ingredients up. I think it is, though. Chris and Ray did a wonderful job on this base. I will argue with you that's the best vegan base, vegetile base on the market. Yes, and I'm including some big popular names in there too. But it's amazing. I think that'll be good, guys. So how's your weekend been going? I uh Hope you've been having a good one, some decent weather. We've been cooler here. I mean, falls here. We're finally getting fall slash winter weather. Um, supposed to have a little bit of snow today, actually, again, I think, if I remember correctly. Which is not good, as I still have to get the traveling taken down. Yep, dad failed. Um, just been really busy. So here we go, the wedge butcher, seven eighths. Uh, Wedge, thank you my buddy Tyler for a part of this and selling this to me about a year or so ago. I really appreciate it. Don't usually use this razor on this little bit of growth, just around 24 hours. I usually save it for bigger shaves, but what the hell, right? Yeah. 
she's a wedge. <laughs> You'll notice with uh, the wedgier grinds, I open my blade up more. Uh, the more the hollow it is for me, the closer that spine is to my face. So that's just how I find the cut best for me. And I like the performance. So in hollow grinds, I definitely do recommend that to guys. If you are uh, you use straight razors, I definitely don't recommend straight razor shavers start with a wedge. Um, based off my personal experience, right? I usually recommend guys start with a hollow or grind, full hollow, half hollow, quarter hollow, something like that. And stay away from extra also because I just find that they're a little easier to cut yourself with. But once you get the technique down, any of the grinds are really good. You just have to find what your preference is. And uh, enjoy it. <laughs> the best part of a straight razor shave to me is just the enjoyment of it. Um, the connection, I guess, in theory, to the past. Thinking about what my grandfather's might have used. Uh, on that blade? Uh, how old is that blade? A couple hundred years, probably. Around mid 1800s. Maybe somewhere in there. I can't have to check. I'd love to hear the stories of that you know these kind of razors had and where they've been in their lives and what they've experienced. I guess it'd be really kind of cool. I think you know they say if walls had ears, <laughs> imagine some of these straight razors. One thing that's interesting about this little knot is how little soap it actually holds. <laughs> Which only makes sense, but not my favorite by any means. I don't know if I can get a 24 mil to handle as small as I would, but I think I'd like to handle. Well, I know that I have to handle. So. 2022, whatever that is, I think it's 20 actually. You go with it, and away you go. A little, slop, a little floppier for that knot than my liking too. I think it's a silver tip. I would prefer to have maybe like a, a two band with a more backbone in it, but what do you do? Cross the grain. So I don't know if you guys caught, they did an IG live yesterday with uh, Bilu One Pass One Pass Ben on uh, Instagram. There, um, it was a nice shave. We had some good chats. Of course, my shave took much longer than his. He only does one pass, but um, a good question was asked on shavettes versus straights. Overall technique is fairly similar. For me, my overall preference is obviously straight razors. I have one shave up style blade left in my, my den, which is the wet. Um, but when the guy's asking, you know, which is going to get you closer, if you're doing like a one pass like Ben is, Shave that. Um, the wet definitely gets way closer off the first pass for me than any of my straights. But if you're going for the overall um, progressive beard growth reduction, um, they get to the same place, uh, but I like the feel of a straight better.
that's my recommendation to guys. Now, do shave outs have their places? Hell yeah. Nothing wrong with the shave outs. If you're a shave out pro, you know, power to you guys. Um, I'm definitely not. But, like I said, I have the whack. I quite enjoy that one. So, <clears throat> I actually might buy another one. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, keep one at the house here, one for a trowel razor. Like, I can kind of take a, like a straight style razor instead of a DE with me on the road. It's kind of fun. If I ever get back to traveling for work, that is. You know, maybe sometime this decade away, everything's going. So, but keep that in mind. I think. Either, either style, a straight or a shave out, will do you just fine no matter what your style of shaving is. Um, they'll get you to the spot you want to be. Depends what you prefer. There is more upkeep with a straight. There is absolutely no denying that. I mean, a shave out, you replace a blade, you're done. Straight, you know, you gotta strop it. You gotta have it honed. If you're not gonna use them for a long time, you gotta oil them. Or you should. I don't always. <laughs> Haven't had any problems yet, but. You know, it's uh, just a little more maintenance around them, but it's what you get them. Just really just get into the groove where they're right. Understand what has to be done. It's like anything else. So, soap's doing excellent. Like I said, it's an amazing vegan base. Um, I did get myself there a little bit, which is weird. And, uh, just loving the scent. It's a good solid medium scent. It's all I can smell right now. Feels nice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah again I'm a huge fan of these some people aren't we got to do what works for you guys so if you want to learn I'll help you out though if you want my help I'm trying to remember to keep my mouth closed and stretch other ways for you guys too so you don't get my <laughs> seeing my tongue down my throat. Oof. Oh yeah. So Just going for DFS today, by the way, guys. I um, have my sales meetings, company wide sales meetings on Monday and Tuesday um, via video chat. <clears throat> so I want to be able to shave in the morning. I have to do a presentation on Monday. So. so far um, I also want to thank you guys for your continued support of the Canadian Mafia show on Instagram I know I really have been on the show so much lately uh, Wednesday nights are getting difficult for me with family life and everything plus I've uh, <laughs> I am now design lead and, and build lead <clears throat> for the 
backdrops or displays for my daughter's theater class for the play Elf that they're doing. And I have to have this, only got put into that like a week ago and I have to have my crew, everything all done by like the middle of November so I'm going to paint, be all done up and then I have to take it to the theater and assemble it and test everything. So it's gonna be crazy, it'll be fun. New experiences, right? Always an adventure. I would expect a little bit of irritation right there. I felt myself push down a little bit, a little too much pressure. Um, but yeah, it feels pretty good, guys. Obviously, the normal stripe here on this cheek needed, and then the nose. But I'll do those cleanups here off camera, and I'll be back to see you guys for the post shave. All right, I'm back. Did a swipe along there, swipe along there. Noses, we were good. Um, <clears throat> I did tell you guys that I'd probably be getting some irritation through here because I pushed too hard and I did, sure as heck, I got blood. Uh, I out of the corner of my mouth, I took the bumps off that I have, that always seemed to happen there. And, uh, <clears throat> I just sealed it up with some alum. So, it seems to be doing the job. Wait. <laughs> so I'm going to use the match and splash. Now these are the original match and splash bottles, the Highland Springs bottles don't want to come in these. Um, they're the plastic, this style, nice bottle still. This is like a glass, I really like it. It's frosty color. I'll be refilling this one. <laughs> oh. Tons that came out, Witch Hazel based splash. Just excellent. As you can see, but dripping off my face, I put too much on, but I don't care because I love it. <laughs> Chris and Mary, if you see this video, if you ever, ever think of discontinuing this, please let me know before you do. I'll have to buy a few sets, at least. So, well, that was awesome, guys. Um, great shave, you know, for... Kind of a late shave for uh, theme week for BBS Live for Barbershop. Um, so I wanted to use Highland Spring Soap Co. Barbershop for it. Uh, just one of my absolute favorite barbershop scents. Like I said, kind of powdery, a little bit of woodsy behind it. Maybe a, tinge of, uh, a pinch of freshness, like fruitiness or something there. Um, or sweetness, I should say. Oh. Yeah, I can wear that every day and be happy. So... Um, what else did we use today for you guys upon the review here since we're into it? Uh, the Mohawk 5341 Vintage Brush, two ba uh, sorry, a silver tip knot, I think 20 mil. Again, I bought it for the handle, vintage, I love it, Canadian history. Can't find much information on it, I just know it's Canadian really. Um, but I think it's really cool looking. Thirsty Badger Mayor Bowl, still got a little bit of soap left in there. Probably use that tomorrow. <laughs> and... Also to go with Barbershop Week, the William Butcher 7 8 Wedge for Barbers Only uh, with, I think it's Buffalo Horn Scales, if I remember correctly. So thank you guys very much for joining me for a video. I do appreciate all your support. I appreciate your subscriptions. I love your comments, so leave them below. Uh, let me know what your favorite barbershops are. Um, you know, my top ones are Highland Springs, uh, First Canadian, I love those. Uh, also the new, uh, Never Alone from a and &E. uh, Those are probably the most prominent um, barbershops I have in my den right now. Cad's another good one from uh, PAA too. I don't have it anymore though. So, okay. Thank you guys. I appreciate it all. Um, great seeing you. Great hanging out. Thank you for hanging out for my shave. And past that everyone, you have a great upcoming week. I'm sure mine will be busy as heck. I hope yours is uh, a good week though. And I uh, hope to see you next weekend. Be interested to see if that can happen. I got my mom's birthday and Halloween next weekend. So I'll try to get a shave in for you. Take care, everyone. Cheers.